Hey there, everyone. This is Aokao playing uh, Banjo Tui, and I just want to bring attention here on this first screen that we're, we're starting. That I have five jiggies right now, and I know if y'all remember, I need four to resume right. However, we will not be resuming now, because although I know we can't complete everything, we still have one more move to find, and you can't reiterate that enough. Like, that is the reason you are playing. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button, that's why. That is the reason we are playing at first. It is to get moves going. That is super important. And check it out, it's Mumbo's skull. We are inside a skull, and here's a little gremlin looking thing. Caught a globo. I cannot believe my eyes, nor my knowledge. So, still a bit of a snorry guy. But he doesn't have like a big skull thing. Like a big skull switch can go on. Also, your house is huge. Baron Bird here at last. Uh, uh huh. We'll also want to help. Uh, that's right. He don't want no skulls no more. You want a globo? Yes, I do want your help. Monster guy face. I'm looking forward to being transformed right in there. That really kind of looks like a Mogwai. And uh, check it out. He uses powerful magic to get us the staff out of his shorts. And there we go. We can play as Mumbo. Do not get too excited. Uh, Mumbo is kind of limited what he can do. He has that. He looks really mad. He can jump. That's his jump. He goes... Like, I think that's why his skull is a lot more like a big skull. That seems like, you know... Like, not really a mask, but just his head. Is because he needs to be fully modeled from everywhere now. Like, move around. He's like a weird lizard person. Alright, well, check it out! What are you gonna do, huh? You can't even zap while you're in the air. So, I don't know if you remember, but there was a little pad with his face on. Uh, down the level somewhere, I might have... There it is, right there. This area we like to call right here. So, this is Mumbo's purpose. There's a little dance! There we go. So you find a little pad, and then you cast a spell, and uh, you don't know what's gonna happen. You're controlling this mega Goliath. Mumbo magic make golden Goliath rise. Let uh, me return statue to its base and press B. Check it out, you're huge. All right, so. There's this rock here. I'm gonna get rid of it. Get out of here, rock! Shut up. I don't know why I did that. Hey, statue face, shut up! <laughs> hey, door, get out of here! Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember what I said that World One was? Uh, we only kind of saw a part of it. There's the other part. Um. There's another door somewhere, right? I don't think you can interact here. I mean, we're gonna try. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Did you ever get kicked by a massive statue before? I guess so, because you don't care. Alright. Get out of here, cat! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Alright, there's another door. Also, I'm gonna kick this statue in the face. Hey, and you are a face! I'm gonna kick you into you! Uh. All right, look at this door. It has skulls all over. Oh, this one we just made a hole. We didn't open it entirely. Oh, are you so not supposed to go in the other door with him? Maybe. All right, now he's sad. And when a giant golden statue is sad, like we all know what happens, it sinks back in the hole where it came from. Everyone knows that. All right, I mean, we gotta hear the song again. That's just the life we live. Because I wanna make sure I got everything done. 
I'm not sure. Uh, well, I want to kick all these statues in the face, but considering this guy respawned, uh, I don't think that does anything, it turns out. Alright. That's okay. But I'm still gonna kick that one in the face. In case that one does something. Violence! Nothing to it. Yeah, so one of the door, I just made a hole in it, but the other one, though, is like fully open? Which is making me think there's something to do as the statue in it. So I'm gonna refresh the timer and go there. Feels like it'd be silly not to. That's right, statue, you have a get sad button. So there's this whole, like, segment here. I wonder if... Oh, there's a flight pad there. Oh, there's a flight pad there. That's gonna unlock a lot of things. So there was a flight pad underneath uh, that rock all this time. Yeah, check it out. We're going into the underpath. It's me, the giants. Oh, there's the last move I'm lacking, by the way. All right, so, oh, we got big mud here. Hey, cat, we got big mud here. Get kicked. <laughs> All right, anything else going on here that I need a kick? Because, hey, I'm a big man. Big plans. Uh, uh, maybe I can kick open that door. I can kick open that skull. Accurate. Get open! <laughs> That's fun. There's just something so satisfying. Alright, nothing. Oh, no, you cannot go up there. That's too hard for you, and I get it. You do have a mighty leap, but. Uh. So here's like the forest part with like another temple. Alright, feels like I did what I wanted. I don't think there's a... Like the... Hmm. Yeah, I don't have a get sad button everywhere. What I do have though now is the opportunity to fly. I just have to... You just have to manually hoof it back though, sadly. To a, to a skull to change back. So how do you do it? You do like... On the chair? Uh, oh, you just, oh, okay, you just jump on the chair, and then he becomes sad. Mumbo does not want to just sit. No, he wants to go out and have an adventure, and I mean, I get it. Check out our sweet polygons. <laughs> kind of stuck in a the door there. So yeah. Uh, so we got a lot of options now. I can fly, which means I can get on top of that tower there. I can get the honeycomb on top of the cow. We got two entrances, which is pretty exciting. There's the Jinjo, where the cat guard is. Like, there's just like a lot of options suddenly. And there's this section here that I don't know if I noticed before. There's like the climb zone. I guess that's an alternate way to, uh, to uh, get up. Yeah, like I went up there and I was like, oh, I can't do that. But I see no reason to just kind of go there, period. Anyways, let's fly! I mean, maybe there's something there, but look, no, it's just, it's just like ledge stuff. Alright, it's a possibly shorter way to get to the end. Alright, so, I wonder if you could probably fly in there. I don't think I have to. Alright! Focus! And fly! Um... Right, so there's a Jinjo here. Nice purple Jinjo and another flight pad. Uh, look at that. How convenient for everyone. Whoops! Okay, well, I didn't regret it too much. Only slightly. Alright. There is the honeycomb that you can find. Can I go over these trees? No. Okay. There's a barrier over all trees, so uh, we kind of expect that. That's just how it works, like, in general. That's why you need a license to become a pilot. It's called logic. Alright, so get in here. Hexagon. Aw, oh, man, and I landed. I wanted to flutter, and I didn't do it in time. Third hexagon is in there. Too big. Classic BK, whenever a thing was too small to get into, you'd have to find a transformation. 
then you would be transformed and be able to fit. But Mambo decides to get more personal. Is there anything on the roof? I think the roof would be a good place to put something, probably. Doesn't look like it, though. Alright, um, check it out, and please don't fall. Way to listen. Alright, so this time, we're gonna... We're not gonna do, be silly. We're just gonna smash our face against the wall, grab this page, and go in this door that was open for us the other day. Then we fall here. Treasure chamber. May I see what's going on, please? Okay, these is a set of stairs. Could have fooled me. Like, does the camera have to be there? No, I can't actually spin it. All right, okay. Uh. All right. So this leads back to the treasure room. We've been here. So we can look around even. Yeah, we got a nice top view of everything. Assuming... Oh, there's a... Oh, okay, I see what's going on here. Like, there's a... One of these we saw outside. There's a jump pad. Sweet. And up here... There's a locked door that we can open. Look at that! I did it! I opened up the bone door. I completely forgot where this goes. Oh, that is funny. Okay. Alright, well, there's someone sleeping. It, we're playing an N64 game, so we know what that means, right? We need to not wake up whoever is trying to sleep, even if it means going rah, 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 really loudly. But where do I want to go? Where do I want? There's something up there, probably. I can't really read there. Oh, it's the token, it's there. Right, right, right. It's not a Jiggy outright that he stole. Okay, so there's kind of like a lot going on here? Can I go up here? Yeah, I can. Sweet, check it out, I'm some. Ramping out to somewhere else. There's an angry hive. There's those pads. Feels like I'm not supposed to be here. This is weird. Alright, well, I mean, yeah, angry hive. Pretty obvious what your deal is gonna be about. So, pads we don't recognize. But, if you've seen the promotion for this game, you might have an idea of what these things do. Uh, alright. So, I can go over here if I so design the evil hive respawn. I just kind of fell. Hey, hello there. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so how it feels like I'm not supposed to be here, huh? Uh, where can I even go? Like, that is more notes than there is in the world I was in. Alright, this feels like this is not the place for us. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I can go back. We will return in five world or so. <laughs> Why am I having so much trouble with this? Eh. Uh, uh, yeah, you know I. Mm, you know I mm, indeed. Those are my thoughts. And mine alone. All right, angry hive can stay angry. That's cool with me. There's also a cave right here. Yeah, and this cave cannot open. There's a switch on the other side though. That's the thing. It's on the other side. All right, so yeah, uh, there's clearly something in behind this, yeah, this, where's this gonna lead? It's bright and orange and golden. Welcome to the golden world. Oh, this is where I came from. 
Okay, it's a passage. Yeah, there was a thing in my face when I got here. I kind of forgot that somehow. Okay, all right. Let's do what we're here to do. Again, it's an N64 game. So they're gonna have the don't make a sound challenge. Except, uh, I guess you cannot even step on it at all. Um, okay. Very well. That's all the way there. I don't think there's a hole behind it. It's kind of hard to tell. If I shoot there, like, does it hit a wall? It does. I don't know if that means anything. Oh, you're trying. Uh, there's a door there, but there's no opening it. Okay. No, so I was using the slow animation there. We might actually not be able to do this here. Like, I don't see how we would do it at this point. Okay. Fair enough. Well, let's go and get the, um, the third move capsule that we clearly saw. So right in this massive door in a place you just cannot miss because it's like right in front of you. Uh, right behind that guy. Check it out. It's called the Jade Snake Grove. There's also a passage here that we didn't go as a big guy, but I don't know if I would have fit. Only 35 points. Notes. It's the Grip Grab. On the edges, you can now hold. Mm hmm Button B to attack. What you please. You did it. And you healed me for my one, I think. Alright, thank you. So, yeah, look at that. You can now grab ledges and jump up and, yeah. I don't know if... I don't know if this is something I'd call a uh, key. Like, a move that's just a key, but, I mean, it's borderline, but, yeah, so, like, all these very thin midges we've seen, that's what we've been needing to continue. And considering this is right in front of us, I'll go through it, see if it does anything. I'm just kind of puzzled by, like, what this offers. Like, is it really just a shortcut up? Because, like, while it might be a shortcut, under some sort of given name. Like, the process is kind of slow. This is not the fastest way to travel. It's not slow either, though. Uh, you know, it's a very intermediary speed movement, I guess. There we go. That brings us up here. Alright, let's go back in the treasure temple, see what we can do with a grip grab there, and I think that's gonna be it for today. Next time, we're gonna start looking around, um... Uh, the second half as Banjo and or Kazooie. But yeah, like right in here. Uh, no, wait. No, no. It's not on top of the longest uh, thing. So if you go up here, and yeah, there's just that. And I did not see the first time I went here, but I clearly saw from the second floor. This is like the, hey, you got this ability now, huh? Wow, uh, who made this massive wall in your room? Like, what is with that fault line? I don't know. Have springs. Uh, uh, oh, there you go. I latched on. These guys are like, we'll check it. And I'm like, I'm checking. Oh, I'm checking, all right. All right, and that just leads us to where I was through the top of the tower. Not really gaining anything new from it. Is there like a climber part? Okay. Okay, that's just gonna kill me. Alright, I don't think this is possible to get then. Uh, I didn't mention, you know, you cannot 100% every world. I cannot see how I would go in there with what I possess right now on me. 
So, all right, and that brings me back. So I think that's gonna be it for today. I don't know where I am. I'm just shuffling myself left and right continuously. It's the good life. Uh, yeah, unless I'm supposed to be gripping more from here. But I don't think so. All right. Weird little non-end, but I think that's just how things are gonna be sometimes.